Stuart Allen here, joining me at Navarro's Fitness Gym uh, here in Dundee, ahead of UCC next week. Uh, I'm none other than the two promoters and the main event fighter himself. Darren Clark, the promoter, alongside his fellow promoter and main event fighter, Mr Mark Navarro. Guys, welcome along to Navarro's Gym, welcome along to your own gym, Mark. Uh, everything all set for next week? Yeah, everything's going, uh, it's going well. Uh, building the cage, pre-building the cage as, uh, as we speak to now, Joe. Hopefully get that whole set and uh, venue and that's all sorted out. So is this just a dry run you're going for? Just a dry run just to make sure that everything's okay and that we need to get any sort of last minute preparation to sort that out this week. But yeah, all good. All set for the fighters, everybody uh, ready to go, everybody uh, missed injury, everybody escaped injury. Yeah man, we got in touch with the coaches, uh, all the fighters coaches last week, everybody seems good to go, training hard. It's the last week, met with more than a pull out, so the beginning the story this week is pretty much just rest up. Take me mate away, um, the hard work's been done, so fingers crossed we've got, I think it's 15, 15, 16, 16 fights, uh, okay. and hopefully, hopefully, that's a... It's 15, 15, 15, 16 fights, we're going to be speaking to a couple of the guys uh, uh, later on, yeah. that'll be in part two and part three uh, of this uh, wee series we're doing here. So if, you're, if, if you've been looking at the other shows the last few months as well, like, and there's a lot of other promotions out there, 10, 12 fights and that, so if I could keep to like 14, 15, 16 fights, we'll be very, very happy. Yeah, I mean, let's face it, it's well worth the money for people coming along, you know, it's, uh, you know, people tend to look at these these kind of shows and they think, you know, 25, 30 quid for a ticket is quite expensive, but when you put it into perspective, you've got, you know, even 10 fights, you know, you do the, you do the simple maths, even 10 fights, uh, you know, 30 quid. Well, already, sure, we can already, yeah. sure, we've, yeah. can already, we're still a week to go, we're talking 10, 20, 25 grand we've spent on the show, we have done everything for the bottom, right up, properly, can okay, even things like, how many years have I been fighting? I've never ever ever once had ticket money, ticket money before the actual fight. What we say to the boys here is, look guys, there's your tickets, sell them, tap the feathers straight away, and it gives them an incentive to sell them their tickets. And if I'm honest, it's been working out good, man. We've done, we've still got a week to go, and we've done 44 VIP tables. It's unheard of. Uh, we're just going to order more tables uh, this week as well. Yeah, so we'll there's going to be a few more tables on sale, right? We're going to have another 10 tables. Um, so if you're looking to get a table, I would suggest you get in touch first. So how can people get tickets? How, how do they go about So if you're looking to get tickets, guys, we've got them. Uh, any of the fighters fighting on the show are going to have tickets. They're up at the Dundee Ice Arena, uh, Navarro's Gym, or through in Gracie Barra Fife. And the standard tickets are 25 quid. Like I say, we well reckon we've got between maybe 5 and 10 tables now. Still, up, uh, still ready to grab, and they're 500 quid, and that's 10 people at a table, and that's 50 quid a head. No, I, mean, I was thinking uh, still 25 quid if you get it for the fighters this week, 35 pound if you're on the door. Yeah, so the remember door. that, folks. If you if you leave it to the last minute, if you go to the door at UCC on the night, you'll be paying an extra tenner for your ticket. So make sure you get it off the fighters. Not only do the fighters, uh, you know, have tickets, they also get a, a commission on the tickets, which is a fiver, which is obviously making uh, them more money as well. So support your local fighters. Make sure you get out there and buy tickets, preferably from them this week. Uh, but if not, get yourselves down to the uh, the ice arena next Saturday or this Saturday. Are they coming uh, for uh, you know the, the 35 quid tickets? Uh, we'll fool you. Um, yeah, 100%. We always do that as well uh, to try and encourage people to show support because, as, as Mark was saying, we've put a lot of money into this event as well. So, the last thing we want is to be panicking on the night of the, or, or the event and that as well. So. Um, this went, went really well, really happy with how it's went so far. Now this, is, this is basically looking like the biggest fight show that the, the Dundee's ever had. Sure, the biggest fight show Dundee's ever had. Here's the story. I fought in their, I'm not sure if you were there. Five years ago, I fought at their main event. Um, the show wasn't that such a success, but the last fight, me versus Pete Mercer, was a, was a, was a, was a good fight. It's a um, fight. It was a cracking fight. I've always says to myself since then, five years have passed, I've done a lot for Aver Britain, Won a lot of titles and stuff. I've always said to myself, want a big, 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 bring a big fight night to Dundee for my own people. Um, and I've always dreamed about doing it at the ice rink. Um, even up until about six months ago, people, everybody spoke to him, Mark, didn't I do the ice rink? It's too expensive to rent out. People, even the, Glaz even the promoters in Glasgow and that have tried to do it. It's not really worked. The wrestlers have tried it. It's not worked. But I knew, with the support, I said to him, I said to him, I said to the guys close around this, I could feel the support I've had. It's known in my head. So it was a risk in taking this. It was a risk in doing it. Um, it was a big risk, but I knew that I've got the support of Aberdeen in the city, and there we go, a week to go, 44 VIP tables. We can't tell you how many standard tickets we've done, done yet, because we're obviously to the fighters and stuff, but let's just say they're going. It's going to be a big, big night. So the chances are, you know, if people leave it to the last minute, you there's, know... There's a chance you might not get a ticket. There's a chance you might not get a ticket. 
uh, you know, again, so make sure that you get your tickets off the fighters before uh, Saturday comes along because the availability might be scarce. Uh, I would imagine there still will be one or two left at the door, but uh, you're certainly we're not going to be getting any tables at the door. So if you want a table, make sure that you get them in advance uh, from the Vardos gym. The, that, that sort of leads us on to your fight, Mark. You know, uh, this, for anybody that didn't know at home, this is a, a rematch uh, for you, for Michael, Michael Brilley. Anybody that was at the, the first fight, uh, you know, personally, I, I was there uh, with Chris Weir that night commentating uh, from Cage Site and uh, Liquid Nightclub in Dundee. It was, has to be the uh, bloodiest fight I've ever seen in my life. Uh, and as I said to you earlier on, we spoke about this earlier on, it, it was towards the end of that fight, in the third round, after the, the final bell rang, I turned round to my commentator, my co-commentator Chris Weir, and I said, you know, because this is a title fight and it's a K1 fight, uh, if this goes to a draw, we could be seeing an extra round in this fight. Now, a few things popped into my head, you know, first and foremost, could you guys actually go another round? Because as far as I can see, you threw everything <laughs> at each other for three rounds in that cage, and I don't think either of you had anything left that night. Uh, secondly, I don't know if I could have watched another round of that because it was so, you know, it's just it's one of these, it's like car crash TV, you know, you can't take your eyes off it. Uh, I didn't know whether I wanted to watch another round, but deep down I couldn't take my eyes off that, I could have watched that all night, you know, as a fight fan, as somebody that sits at cage side every single Saturday uh, watching fights going on, that, that was an amazing, an amazing fight. Yeah. Uh, what's your recollection of that and, you know, how, how is that going to shape up for so, the, the rematch? Uh, so First of all, I would like to say, hats, see for me, you can story, right? It's about, it's about being a man of your word and uh, things like that. M Mikhail Breland, he, he wanted to fight me again. So straight away, that to me just shows what type of man he is. Right, hats off to him for that. As far as the first fight, first and second round, he was getting done. Right, I was on tap, I was rocking him. Um, he was hanging on. See the third round, Stuart? Couldn't see a thing. I, I was basically in a... Just flight mode. Just get through the last round. I, I was thinking if I got through that last round, I was going to win that fight. Luckily enough, I did. Um, well, I got a decision. Let's be honest. Nobody really won that fight. I know that. So see this time, it's going to be different. You can see what I've built. The last couple of years, mate, I've no, I've no thought. But you just see on Facebook, I live the life. I'm fighting every two or three fights a week in Spartan. I live the life. I've been training hard. I've got my nutrition on point. I've got a big team around us, a really good team around us. Every hand is put going in the right direction. Um, so uh, I'm feeling good, let's just see what happens next week, but let's just say, uh, I hope Breland's been training hard because he's going to be in for a tough, tough night. He's either not, he hasn't got a copy, he's either not got a copy of the video or he's got an awful short memory after that fight because I don't know anybody who would want to do that again, I really Mate, it's sure, but, it's sure, here's the thing, right, there's a hundred other fighters out there, you know that, they didn't get the respect that I do, it's, there's a hundred other good fighters out there, it's about, see when the going gets tough, it's about how, 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 how are you going to act, how, how's your character, and I basically show that every time. Doesn't matter how tough it gets, mate. You're renowned for that, aren't you? You know, you're renowned for going in there and banging. You always bring a fight. Right. You're no one that, that's going to fight off the back foot. You know, you're always coming. From the very start, I went in and, and fought some of the best boys in Britain. Um, I'll never, ever, ever take an easy fight. Um, that is what it is. It's, this is what this is how the fans get excited when I fight. Look at the buzz this week around Dundee. The, the Ken, they're going to be in for a fight when they when they, when that music comes on and the Ken are coming out to fight. They're going to see a fight. So how's your preparation for that actually being gone? Preparation, mate, honestly, I could hand on heart say this is the best I've ever felt before a fight. Like I say, Ken, for years, Stuart, I was training, training up with Swanee Ponds at the parks, skint, had no money to feed myself, I was getting sponsors to give money for food, everything. Now we've got money in place, nutrition in place, I've got somebody that cooks my meals on a Sunday, drops the math, I've got my, my... Every single thing is going right. I'm pretty much on weight, I'm feeling good, mate. This week, time to relax, make the weight, and show Abdi that's not seen me fighting Dundee yet what I'm about. Simple as that. It's time to show people. So you want to give a shout out to your sponsors well, where well you get the opportunity here? Yeah, so a big shout out. Um, I think these guys will these, these guys make things a lot, lot easier, you know that, right? And uh, definitely it's a big, big thing. Sponsors, companies helping each other. Um, my three sponsors, Jimmy Shaw Paint and Decorator, uh, Russell, Russell Delford Landscape and Gardening, and Club Cruiser. So a big, big thank you to they guys. They made things a lot, lot easier the last few weeks, letting me focus on the training and stuff. And I really, really appreciate the help. And the uh, show sponsors as well. We've got MPH Spoilers. We've got Stuart Plumbing and Heating. And we've got IES. Independent Access Scaffolding. As well, who Mark used to work with as well. Yeah. So I've supported them through a lot of stuff as well. 
and uh, Frank Kelby. Frank Kelby, a big, big, big shout out to Frank Kelby yeah. and Independent Access. These guys they always support support everything. all the local fighters in Dundee, and they have done for years. And Stephen Riley of Independent Access Scaffold, and, and the Kelby brothers, uh, Frank Kelby Metals. The, the, honestly, these guys help other local fighters. And they it's do. Much I mean, they do. They do help an awful lot. You know, people. People think you know it's you know it's only a couple of hundred. That's what it's, it's, it's what's about. When you're a young struggling fighter, a couple of hundred quid is the difference between being able to train and not being able to train. Definitely, definitely. Even, this even, is even what's about. Promotion as well. I mean, starting up a new promotion as well. It's always help just to try and get us some advertisers or something before we get even tickets sold or VIP tables sold as well. So it's been very good for that side of things as well. So with all the wrap up, I've got one question for you, Mayweather McGregor. How's it going to end? Do you, do you need to ask me that? I do. Don't, just give me it for yeah, the heart. Give me it for the heart. Give me it for the heart. Who would you like to see win it? Oh, McGregor. The only, but it's only, like, the only one that wins out of that fight is it's McGregor. Me because they both make money. Simple as that. But McGregor's going in against a guy who's 49-0 and, and he's 0-0. Zero and zero. He has nothing to lose. He's not going in against an MMA fighter. He's going in against a boxer. It's crazy. So the only one that actually has something to win Mayweather doesn't need to be taking that fight, he doesn't need the money. So the two of them are one, getting a big payout, but the only winner coming out of that, win or lose, is McGregor, simple as that. So that's my views on that. And sure, can I just say a massive, massive thank you to every single person in this city. Um, the support we've had, like we say, for the, for the very, very start, even going to get our sponsors and that, the, the support we've had is phenomenal. Um, and without, without, without you guys, none of this would be possible. I tell people, man, I'm living the fucking living the dream right now. I really am, um, and it's doing hard being this city. It's a fact. I'm sure they, I'm sure they appreciate it, Mark. I'm sure we're going to turn out the clubs at UCC next Saturday as well. Uh, Friday is the public weigh-ins. Yeah. That's at Two the p.m. Hamptons Hill and the new one right across from Liddell, uh, across from Pure Drum and the Town. Two p.m. Call and fight along there. Public man. public weigh-in, so all come down, support your local fighters, uh, and meet the fighters who are going to be fighting as well. Tickets as well, if you want any last minute yeah, tickets. Last There'll last be last, last, last minute tickets, tickets that held as well, and that'll be the last opportunity you'll have uh, to get them for the, the twenty-five quid price. Uh, after that, you'll be paying thirty-five quid on the door. Guys, thank you very much indeed uh, for taking your time out. Uh, thank you very much, Joe. Look forward to next week. Thanks very much. Really, really.